Kepler and SpaceX is now aiming for 832, which is the end of the launch window to get that rocket off the ground. And the reason has to do with the weather. News 6's Eric Sandoval is with crowds hoping for good news, but we begin with James Barbero live at Kennedy Space Center. And James founder Elon Musk does not sound hopeful about this. That latest tweet from him that you mentioned, Ginger, if the rocket, if the wind does not die down, then this rocket launch would be postponed. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, just tweeting. So right now here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, the countdown clock reads an hour and 30 minutes, and SpaceX is saying it has nothing to do with the rocket back there, back there at pad 39A. We watched the Falcon Heavy go vertical this morning. A time-lapse video we captured with members of media from around the world given special access to really go behind the scenes here at the Space Center and give up close to pad 39A from multiple locations. The rocket actually going vertical a little bit later than originally anticipated. Perhaps our first indication that this launch was not going to happen toward the beginning of the window, originally 635 as we mentioned, so then it was pushed to 8 o'clock, and now it's just the wind that's being blamed here. But when you're up close to the rocket like that, you really take in just how amazing it is to see the most powerful operational rocket in the world preparing for its second flight, 27 engines on three core boosters, five and a half million pounds of thrust. Listen to this space photographer and research scientist talking about just how visually amazing Falcon Heavy looks up close. So to see that up close is very impressive and to realize they're gonna land three of these boosters like straight out of science fiction. There's a lot of great viewing spots to see and you do not want to miss this fantastic launch. And again, breaking at 7, we hope we don't have to miss it. Launch window now at the bottom, 8.32. That's our last chance to see the greatest show in space flight. The success of the Falcon Heavy could mean so much for deep space exploration if it's a success tonight, if it happens tonight. Inside the nose cone, it's a satellite for Saudi Arabia. Falcon Heavy's first mission with a paying customer. So if the launch does happen tonight, we are following it up until we hear new information from SpaceX. We would carry that launch live on ClickOrlando.com. We are staying here at the Space Center, ladies, with the latest updates, and we will bring them to you on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero getting results, News 6. James, your description makes me want to drive out there right now to see it. Sounds fantastic. Let's hope we get to see it off the ground. Thank you, James. Well, the last heavy launch drew the largest crowd since the space shuttles. News 6's Eric Sandoval continues our team coverage tonight. He is at Jetty Park in Cape Canaveral. Eric, what are the crowds looking like out there? Well, you know, my photographer Alfred Mason and I, we've been to Jetty Park a lot of times to cover these kinds of events. We don't remember a time when so many people turned out. Take a look behind me. You can see cars stretch all the way around this uh, retention area here. And if you spin around, you can see more RVs, more SUVs, more minivans, all of them open with their chairs open and a lot of families taking picnics. We shot some video earlier today we want you to take a look at. Many people made a day out of it out here. Some of them flying a kite in the park here. Others spent time just getting their binoculars ready and getting uh, just spending the time uh, waiting for that launch tonight. They've come from all over here. We spoke to a man from Michigan. We spoke to another man from Quebec. We also spoke to a family all the way from Germany who changed their vacation plans to be here for tonight's SpaceX launch. Listen to them. I am the first time in Florida and to see the rocket start, it's unbelievable for me and um, tomorrow we go back to Germany and that's the last chance for us to see that. I just talked to them again and they're really holding out hope that that 832 launch window works. Again, if you're coming out to Jetty Park, no dice. It is closed. So is Playlinda Beach. Uh, so is Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center. All of them packed with people hoping this launch goes off. So your best bet again is to stay right here with News 6 and click Orlando.com to watch it from the comfort of your own home. For now, we are live at Jetty Park. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6, back to you. I guess I won't be driving over. No dice, Eric. Thank you. <laughs>